Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. FX options are a low-risk alternative to hedging currency moves in any market condition. Because the momentum has increased substantially now, we're going to see a situation where if this ends up trying to correct from it, we might have a series of slightly lower lows before it tries to reverse. Now, again, there is a bit of a con because AA here is shorter than BB. Ideally, these are going to be the same length. This would have needed to have based out a little bit more to say definitively that this is the third leg down as opposed to this kicking off a third leg down. But you can see how if this ends up being the case, it is very, very common that when momentum is building on the downside with the three legs of selling, it doesn't usually just bounce back quickly. More often than not, you'll see a shift in momentum at that low before you will see a better turnaround or a better correction off of that low. And that's kind of what we've got to watch for here now taking place on this. <laughs> Whoops, that went a little crazy there. But hopefully you get the point. Um, let's take a look at this actual action within this, uh, the last portion of that previous chart. And you can see that that second leg down on that larger time frame, and this is kind of going a little crazy. Let me try that again. This is that second leg down. Notice that within that second leg down, we had these three legs of selling once again where the momentum was slower. So. It afforded this buying opportunity coming off of that third wave of selling, basically when the channel breaks. So if you draw um, a trend line connecting each of these highs on that third leg down, when that channel breaks, as well as the previous bar's highs, that's going to give you a buy setup. And this follows through very well to start with. It comes back into uh, previous highs and lows here as an initial resistance zone right there. And that stalls it. But notice that the momentum shifts here. We have more of a congestion here. And then there's a slower momentum move on the upside. So this has created this two-wave type of pattern that forms a continuation pattern in the larger trend. And it's because of this not only that it's two legs of upside, one, and two, but the momentum has shifted on that second leg. Now, earlier I had drawn an example where we had the two legs, and here was the first one, and here was the second one, and they formed a triangle. This is another variation of that, where now we have more of a rising wedge type of formation, but it's also that two-wave correction. And this two-wave correction is one of my favorite strategies for trading. Often the market moves in two or three waves. And a lot of people like to think, okay, well, your three waves is your core trend move and your two waves are your corrective moves. Well, you can get uh, trend moves that are two waves where it's not necessarily uh, – a full correction. You can see downside like this, upside like this, and then back down again. Let me clear this. So you'll have two waves of downside, two waves of upside, two waves of downside, and that's very typical congestion type of trading. And these are great for trading pivots and trading reversals when you do have something that to a lot of people just looks like a mess because you'll have these very consistent legs of buying and selling. Today, if you go and you drop and down and look at the five-minute chart of that ES, Every single one of those corrections today on that five-minute time frame was two waves of correction. So you had a two-wave correction between around 10.45 and uh, just before noon. You had another one coming out of noon going into 13.15 Eastern. And then you had that other one from 13.45 into around 14.45 Eastern. And every single one of those had these two waves of correction. They weren't all pretty but they were all there. And so this can really give you that idea of what to look for. And notice even, you'll see that even the follow through on many of these moves, when they broke lower to new lows in today today, those legs lower had two waves of selling within them as well. So you really see this, um, 
this pervasive activity of two legs up, two legs down, repeating over and over and over again in the market. And you'll either have these two or these three waves. And they're really great for helping you time different strategies. When we're looking at this example, because this momentum shifted here, and I'm going to change uh, my drawing tool, when this channel breaks lower, going into that second high, that gives you the sell signal. So your sell is right here, right as that channel gives way. And a stop is going to be above that high. Give it a little bit of a wiggle room, but it's going to be above that high. I'm going to clear this again. This does offer a secondary opportunity if you missed that because it dropped quickly and then based a few days and basically congested. So you saw the momentum shift again where we had the rally, the secondary move, and then even a little third move. So in each of these, the momentum is shifting. Your first entry comes off of that second high there. And then you have a second entry that can take place coming off of here. Oftentimes, people that are trading uh, continuation moves in a security, they make the mistake of trying to jump in at an initial resistance level and look for a continuation. So like I marked here, I'm going to actually clear this and show you. So they'll see an initial bounce. They'll see it start to stall. Maybe it'll be at a resistance level, just like these previous highs here, previous lows. And then look and try to take that as a continuation move. And then they're floored because it'll pop back up. Just take them out and then do exactly what they thought it was going to do in the first place. And that's because they only had that one leg up. Two highs or two lows within a congestion tend to be sort of like uh, a magic formula. If you have the two, two waves where you can easily identify two highs and two lows, you have a higher chance of success of uh, that strategy working out, then if you just have one smooth, fluid move to the upside or one smooth, fluid move sideways, because there's always going to be that risk that it might go ahead and give you an initial attempt to break only to pull back up and it could flush you out or that initial attempt to break could even have been a, a false start and serve as a trap and end up leading to a reversal pattern eventually. So. Watch for those two waves of correction. And as we go and look at this, here's this in a little bit more detail. And you can see the difference between how these played out. We both have situations where the momentum shifted and the third leg of selling was substantially slower than the first leg of selling. But the follow through is different. In the one over here in April and May, it was followed by the bounce off the third wave was followed by congestion or congestive activity. Basically, the momentum of the selling shifted to more of a sideways type of uh, formulation. So it's still correction to the buying, but it's a base instead of a pullback. And on the one that forms in August here, we had a rapid rally, but it shifted. And so we had this slowing in momentum here that allowed this to turn around and start to break lower again, whereas we didn't see that happen back here in May. This channel break actually triggered a secondary entry for people that would have missed that breakout coming off of that third low. Notice in here, even A and B, there are two little tiny waves of upside. It's hard to see here because we're looking at just this daily time frame and it's taking place over about a week or a week and a half or so. But you can still see there are two waves of upside on each of these corrections. So it really helps give you that, that clear-cut feel for these trend moves. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. Get trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary visit www.fxoptions.com. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.